On the evening of November 11, 1938, Marjorie Norville, who was 30 years old at the time, was last seen walking up the stairs at Central Station in Brisbane. It was confirmed by files at the Queensland Police Museum that the Bundaberg train was scheduled to depart hours after Ms Norville was seen at the station. Miss Norville was a public service typist who assisted the then Queensland Premier William Forgan Smith's wife with her social arrangements. Miss Norville was described as an attractive girl with good social connections. Miss Norville, who was from a well known Bundaberg family, had told friends and work colleagues that she was going to Bundaberg for three days. The trip was planned as she had organised leave from work for the time off. She had, however, told friends several different accounts of where she was intending to go. Several days later, Ms Norville was reported as a missing person after family and friends had not heard from her. By the end of November, the Queensland Government had offered a reward of £500 for information of her whereabouts, yet they did not receive any reliable information. According to the Queensland Police Museum, there were several rumours relating to Miss Norville's disappearance, including that she was murdered and her body disposed of in the bay to conceal her alleged pregnancy, which was the result of her having an affair with a prominent politician. An extensive search was conducted and more than 1,000 people were interviewed, yet the police were unable to track down any leads. Police searched every motorboat in the Brisbane River, combed the bush within 100 kilometres of Brisbane and excavated suspicious-looking patches of ground, but the only bodies found were those of dead animals. Abortionists and suspected abortionists were closely monitored by police. Another tragic incident occurred during the search for Ms Norville. On November 28, 1938, a Royal Australian Air Force amphibian aircraft crashed at Alberton Ferry near Bean Lee and all four men on board were killed. In 1943, a coronial inquest was held into the disappearance of Marjorie Norville. Magistrate Leahy concluded that he believed Ms Norville had died as a result of an unsuccessful medical procedure, which was highly speculated was the termination of her pregnancy. Eighty years later, the disappearance of Marjorie Norville continues to remain unsolved.